it's dark. Oh my gosh, look at that. Snake Hill chart. What the heck is this thing? Nobody knows. It's like the a... site of a recent death, though. <laughs> Fossils are kind of gross. <laughs> the fossils are gross. Pretty much like ancient, ancient ocean toe bugs or something. Toe bugs. Hey guys, in this video today, I am going to be rock hounding for chert, flint, fossils, and all the good stuff that we always want to see here. I also show some of the stuff that I have made from the stuff found in this video. So stick around to the end, there's some surprises in here, and you guys enjoy. Just in the gravel. Here's another piece. Nice little piece of flint. So the trick for gravel is finding pieces big enough to make a point that are not extremely weathered. Weathered limestone, little bits of chert. So big enough pieces to make an arrowhead from that's uh, not weathered. There's high quality stuff mixed in to really low quality stuff, at this spot at least. So limestone there, but chert there. What do you think? I don't see anything up there. I don't see anything outcropping. Limestone. So this is the stuff we just found. Big brick of it. Looks like a massive boulder of the gray. Let's see my hand size. Oh my gosh. That's that same gray stuff. Is this what fell off? Yeah. That feels more like limestone. There's more underwears. Are you serious? Old underwears. What the heck? Some higher quality black blend mixed into the limestone. Just a pile of rocks. So due to the cubic cleavage of this type of flint, it is just really freeze damaged. I'm only able to make small points from this stuff, and as you can see, they're all kind of the same size. They're all kind of the same width. Some are a little longer, some are a little shorter. But for whatever reason, this rock only can make small points like this. I have not been able to find a flint with this freeze damage that I'm able to make larger points. You bitch. 
I don't remember the exact term. It's been a while since I took geology. Cleavage. That's the word, though. That is the word. Okay. Where's the fossil? I don't know what kind. Right there. What did I read? That, that. What did I read that the fossil is in this stuff? Armored fish? Early armored fish? Uh, was it? Was yeah. that for Onondaga? Yeah. For Onondaga limestone. Look at that. See all the little shells? One there. There. Those are all fossils. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Check out that stone. Which one? I'm like sinking in the muck here. This one? Yep. That looks high quality. This is the blue stuff. a little bit of chart in limestone right. on this one. It's pretty flooded so I don't have much much to look at. Hmm. That's flint. I don't know what kind of flint. Blue stuff. It's got those little sparkles inside. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I don't know what this stuff is called. I wish I did. Hmm. Nice. In this limestone. Grab that little piece right there. Yeah. This? Tiny bit. Same stuff. Oh god. <laughs> that's that's a flake plate. Grab that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's some kind of bug. It's really super sharp. That's that blue stuff. This just tumbled, cracked. Yeah, we got um, some kind of midge hat going on. Is that a midge? Yeah. Startled me. I have not tested this stuff. It looks like just limestone. Limestone. Yeah. Limestone. Really high quality limestone.
Så är så pass Cool This stuff is really good I really like this stuff This is a small nugget though The whole thing is flint Oh my gosh Looks like it might be kind of blocky though Might be a piece underneath as well, or not. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks nice. East Pass. It's isopus with limestone. It's not gonna... all the brown. This is isopus. <laughs> I'm sinking. A little piece. I see another two pieces of small chunks of brown. One up there, mm -hmm. and one over here. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I'm gonna fall in the river. <laughs> I'm fall in the river. Jeez. See, I'm sinking in. Oh. East Pass. Cool. Hmm. It's that same stuff. It's dark. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Snake Hill chart. I was reading that the stuff with the banding, the blue stuff, is called Kettle Point chert. Does not seem to be too good though. It's like Isipas. That black ground. Cobbles. Ooh. Feels super smooth. Yeah, that's it.
got a medium length flint knife. I just nice. got some flint. I'll get right on that. Nice. We'll send wow, you a little gift too. He's a Patreon. Patreon patron. David. He is a cool dude. I just wanted to see if there was a view. <laughs> what is that voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we missed it. Where's this bringing me? Just to a dead end. Is it? Alright, well look. What you got? This whole thing is filled with fossils. More fossils? See them all? Oh, wow. And then on the bottom, you can oh, see shells. Geez. Wow, look at that. So, ancient seafloor. This looks like it probably was. I don't know. Yeah, this is all the just the bed bedrock, right? Mm -hmm. Got some uh, park ranger activity over there, cutting logs. So it's made from Beecraft limestone, Oriskany sandstone, and Isapa shale. And they each have different kinds of fossils, so you can see which which is what's which is what. Crinoid, brachiopod, zoo ficus. I don't know how to say that one. Is that the zoo ficus? Looks like it might be. Fossils. I am no fossil expert, but maybe. Maybe. really cool. It's all in sandstone. Crazy. What the heck is this thing? Nobody knows. It's like the site of a recent death, though. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> no. It must have toppled and fell on top of him. Splat. Oh, oh wow, yeah. look at this thing. Whoever this guy was, rest in peace, uh, he did a lot of hiking. Look at the soles of his shoes. Yeah, those shoes are spent. So this man was an avid hiker. Tragic end. A really good example of uh, Cephalor fossils. Here and here. But that's really good. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera. Yeah, I don't know. You can see here and just imagine layers of, of sand. See the shells in there? That is pretty wild. Found a perfect napping disc. What's that? Ah! Oh. <laughs> there you go. You can't find flint. You can find napping material. Look at this landscape. It's really something else. Look at that. Strange. Weird. Fossils are kind of gross. <laughs> the fossils are gross. Perhaps like ancient, ancient 
ocean toe bugs or something. Toe bugs? Like muck. Yeah, no, like muck, but they're kind of gross. Kind of gross? Just like, I don't know, ancient squishy mud bottom of a lake. That's what I'm picturing. You get into a lake, it all squishes between your toes. Maybe there'll be some of the broken piece. Oh, there's some right there. That's all shells. Oh, wow. Those are shells. Cool. Here. Here's another here, here, big... Here, here, here. See that gross... <laughs> gross toe bugs. <laughs> what do you think? Like, ew. I don't know. Yep. It's kind of disgusting. Cool, but disgusting. See, like that one? Like, what is that? It looks like teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Toe bugs. That's Flint. Is it? I wasn't even... I was showing, trying to show you this. It's a shell in Flint. Yeah, is it? Wow. What the heck? That's different. So many toe bugs. Gross. Oh man. Disgust. It's so, so weird. Heebie jeebies. How'd you think, like, why'd you think of toe bugs? I don't know. It's some sequel or some picture and stepping on this shit. <laughs> yeah. And some of it looks like it had teeth. Oh. That's a, that's a shell fossil right here in the limestone. Is it? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. actual shell. Like, what the heck? Millions of years old and it's still like, it looks like shell. That is awesome. No? No. Oh, look. There's some kind of weird fungus in there. Oh, awesome. Ancient C4 fungus. Ancient C4 fungus. I can't even talk. Oh my god. Ancient fungus unleashed. Can you get an idea on that? Good job. <laughs> well, somebody had to end this shit. <laughs> Random piles. I keep thinking of the um toe beans song. You know those toe beans? No. Insert toe bean song here. Toe beans, toe beans, toe beans, toe beans. Toe beans. Uh, the Dolly Parton song, Jolien. <laughs> 